Welcome once again to Sim Action Cars Review Channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, press the bell button and also, comment down below. In this video, we'll be discussing the 2023 Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT, so sit back, unwind, and grab a beverage while I go over all you need to know about this opulent car. The Porsche Cayenne is noteworthy on many levels. It's among the most amusing to drive models in its group and upholds it with a great inside and a lot of chance for customization. This Cayenne constructs serious areas of strength for a for purchasers whose life conditions block a 911. Scarcely any vehicles out and about today offer very as much assortment as the 2023 Porsche Cayenne. The third era of Porsche's biggest SUV is accessible with a wide exhibit of powertrains and an apparently perpetual number of choices that permit you to fit the SUV to your heart's joy. Join that with unshakable form quality, sharp taken care of, a very much selected and open inside, and loads of accessible tech and driver helps and you make them force, but expensive, SUV. We felt that Porsche could have an update available for the Cayenne this year, yet that doesn't appear to be the situation as there are no massive changes for 2023. All things considered, given spy photographs of disguised vehicles testing on open streets, an update may be coming up for the following year. The Cayenne has contest from pretty much every extravagance automaker around nowadays. A portion of our top choices incorporate the Mercedes-Benz GLE and BMW X5 as well as later increases to the class like the Audi Q8 and beginning GV80. There's not really a terrible vehicle among the bundle, with some contribution better extravagance arrangements or further developed in-vehicle tech comparative with the Porsche. All things considered, nobody can contact it regarding execution and feel. In the event that you're searching for an extravagance SUV that won't leave you feeling exhausted, showing improvement over the 2023 Cayenne is hard. You don't anticipate that an enormous SUV should feel so speedy. However, when it wears a Porsche identification, it's normal. Indeed, even the base Cayenne unspools constant flows of force from any two-fold digit speed. We tried the Cayenne with the base V6, and 0 to 96.561 km per hour requires simply 5.3 seconds, which is noteworthy for a SUV that weighs in at 4,700 pounds. The transmission is very much adjusted, however the brake pedal stroke is somewhat longer than anticipated for a Porsche. Dealing with is sublime. Our test vehicle, with 21-inch wheels, a versatile suspension and the game chrono bundle, delivers apparently vast measures of grasp in bends. The directing is somewhat heavier than a SUV requires however surely plays into the Cayenne's donning assumptions. Porsche's mystery ingredient for joining athletic and sure taking care of with a firm and comfortable extravagance ride quality is on full presentation in the Cayenne. The ride quality is firm however agreeable, a Porsche trademark. The standard seats stay agreeable over significant distances for a scope of body types, However drivers pushing it through corners could need for extra horizontal reinforcing. Some outside commotion leaks in, however more modest measurement tires and discretionary clamor protected glass could lessen it. An expansive scope of driving positions and open quarters permit the Cayenne to feel either like a legitimate games vehicle, for example, a 911, or a more customary SUV. However it has similar number of seats as the more modest Macon, the expanded wheelbase gives a lot of space to all travelers. It's not difficult to slide all through. The cockpit controls have a quality vibe to them, with knurled dials and rocker switches. Tragically, some are set ungracefully and firmly before the stuff selector, however these are repetitive since most are found on the controlling wheel. The wide touchscreen highlights quite possibly of the best connection point in the class that is simple and natural to utilize and profoundly configurable. Keep microfiber towels helpful, however, on the grounds that the screen smirsish without any problem. The base sound framework is fine, however serious audiophiles will need the discretionary Bose or Burmester update. The framework isn't complete, nonetheless. There's remote Apple CarPlay cell phone joining. However Android Auto requires a string. Voice acknowledgement doesn't offer a lot of in that frame of mind of normal discourse discovery. Porsche's plan of action remains on the shoulders of its broad choices list, yet some fundamental driver help elements ought to be standard. 
The Cayenne offers genuine everyday convenience, however it has less inside stockpiling than numerous contenders. With the 40-20-40 split back seats collapsed, there's simply 60.3 cubic feet of freight stockpiling, not exactly a few smaller hybrids, however the shape is valuable. Additionally, you can settle on an, in fact costly, air suspension that brings down the back for facilitating freight in. You'll track down a couple of cubbies all through the lodge, yet none are particularly large. While there's very little inside space for diaper sacks and other child gear, you'll have the option to fit kid seats without an issue thanks to effortlessly got to Isofix Secures. If your toys are the benevolent you pull around, the Cayenne can tow in excess of 7,000 pounds when appropriately prepared. The base Cayenne get an EPA-assessed 8.07766 km per liter joint, 7.22738 city and 9.35308 interstate. We had the option to generally copy that number in 7 days of testing kilometers that highlighted a blend of city traffic and metropolitan expressway driving. It's difficult to qualify the Cayenne as an incredible worth, particularly when many opponents offer a comparative extravagance experience for less. Be that as it may, in any event, when you're not investigating the Cayenne's unparalleled exhibition restricts, the first-rate construct quality legitimizes the expense. Indeed, even costing this much, there are contenders, for example, the Land Wanderer Reach Meanderer game and the Maserati Levant, that simply aren't also adjusted. When you plunk down cash at the showroom, it'll be some time before you need to dish out for unanticipated expenses. The Cayenne's fundamental and powertrain guarantees, alongside emergency aids, are really great for a very long time slash 50 miles. With the Cayenne, it doesn't make any difference. It goes quick and handles like a lower and more modest vehicle, in addition to it can in any case go about as an experience escape vehicle, a genuine smartest possible scenario suggestion. We propose going with the S Platinum release presented a year ago. It includes a more remarkable motor than the base model along with improved slowing down and taking care of and a small bunch of additional highlights without sending the cost into the stratosphere. The 2023 Porsche Cayenne is a fair size SUV accessible in 9 trims, base, platinum version, e-mixture, e-half and half platinum release, S, S platinum version, GTS, Super and Super SE crossover. There's a wide assortment of powertrains and standard and discretionary elements on offer, so you'll have to do an exploration to sort out which one is best for you. I'm glad that you now fully understand this vehicle. Would you kindly do me the favor of subscribing to this channel and pressing the notification bell button so that you are notified as soon as we upload another video like this. Enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you.